All right, AGI is not coming. Big AI does not want to admit it, but here's the reality of the matter. You guys have been hearing me say it for a long time, but AGI has been promised to us for a long time, and now that AGI promise is cracking right before our eyes. Sam Altman just admitted that AGI is not a super useful term as he tries to backpedal. And this is the same guy who's been hyping artificial general intelligence for years to try to raise billions of dollars. He's got his company valued between 300 to $500 billion on the promise that he would deliver AGI, and now he's backpedaling. But here's what really caught my attention. New research from Anthropic shows that AI models actually get dumber when they try to think longer. How is that even possible for supposedly raising toward a super intelligence? So something doesn't quite add up here today and I'm gonna expose why the AGI emperor has no clothes here. So let's jump into them. Now, the tech giants want you to believe that we're on the verge of AGI, and they've been promising us this for the last two years, but now they're suddenly all backpedaling, and the data is telling a different story. After watching the industry pump and dump cycle repeatedly with blockchain, NF NFTs, and Web3, I'm seeing the exact same pattern now with AGI. So we're gonna dig into why the smart people in AI are quietly backing away from their big promises of AGI coming here. And so let's take a look at some of these. So Sam Altman now says AGI or human level AI is not a super useful term. Now he's not alone, but I'm going to hate on Sam here for a minute, right? Because OpenAI Sam Altman told CNBC last week that the artificial general intelligence is not a super useful term, even though he's the one who's been pumping it for the last three years. The problem he says is there are multiple definitions being used by different companies, individuals. Computer science experts agree and say it's better to focus on the more specialized use cases of AI. Hello, I've been saying this for a long time. And as always, you know, my best compliment here is if you can leave a comment down below for me, because that's the best compliment and we answer all of them personally. So like, just make sure that you leave a comment here for us because it really helps the algorithm and it just lets me know and I love it. It just warms my heart to see you guys' comments and I love them. I truly sit there in LOL and I read them to my wife and she just kind of rolls her eyes at me because that's what she does about my companies. But anyways, she's really nice and supportive. Don't, don't get me wrong. Um, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman said artificial general intelligence or AGI is losing its relevance as a term as rapid advancements in space make it harder to find the concept. Okay, this is one of the guys who've been king of coining that phrase for a long time. So he's now saying there's multiple definitions being used by a different company when he was perfectly fine with these vague definitions while trying to raise $500 billion in his valuation for his company. Now this shift is happening right after GPT-5's underwhelming launch. So, you know, whole Death Star, all that, you know, rising up to straight like all that stuff and yet he's the one now here saying oh well, this isn't super helpful right and he's saying it's not super helpful to people but i think it's a point of all this is it doesn't really matter and it's just continued ex exp uh, continuing exponential model of capabilities yeah if it was exponential then chat gpt5 would have been exponentially better than four which it's not even percentagely better than four. But anyways, Altman isn't alone in raising skepticism about AI, right? A lot of other people are talking about it, uh, myself included, right? I've been saying for a long time, we weren't gonna hit AGI, and that's what I'm talking about here today. Every single flagship model released this year has been a letdown compared to the revolutionary promise we heard. Hi, I'm Spencer, a fractional CTO. With over a decade of executive leadership and 25 years in software development, I've transformed technology teams and products for businesses just like yours. As you are fractional CTO, you get the strategic guidance of a seasoned technology executive without the full-time commitment. Perfect for companies ready to leverage cutting edge technology without expanding headcount. My team at Startup Hack has already built advanced AI agents for small and medium businesses, automating complex workflows and delivering advanced ROI to human workflows. We specialize in creating custom software that connects your systems into a single coherent technology ecosystem. Our development approach focuses on tangible business outcomes. For one client, we developed AI powered workflows that cut days off of human processes. For another company, by connecting multiple systems, we reduce processing time to increase their ROI by over 75%. We don't don't just write code, we architect solutions that scale. Whether you need cloud system architecture, data integration between legacy systems, or custom AI agents that automate your unique business processes, my team delivers results that exceed your expectations. Having led technology for a lot of companies and launched seven successful brands of my own, I bring battle-tested expertise to your business challenges. Our specialty is turning technological complexity into business advantage. So if you're ready to harness the power of AI and custom software to drive your business forward, let's connect Together, we'll build technology that doesn't just solve today's problems, it positions you for tomorrow's opportunities. Technology leadership, decades of experience, AI powered. Reach out today and we can help you. Check out startuphack.com Spencer.